Hey everybody, it's Moombo here, and welcome to a very special episode of Scrap Mechanic for you guys today. This time, I'm gonna be showing you guys a special gift that was given to me by the one and only Retro Specs. Now, this is in uh, celebration of his 2000 subscriber special on his channel, and I'm gonna put a link in the description, and I urge you guys to go check it out. I have to say that he is definitely probably one of the best creation uh, makers in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, loads of his builds have been featured all over YouTube, and his creations are always topping the workshop as well, so very happy for you, Retro, and special thanks to you for sending me this gift. I'm very humbled and honored to be receiving it and opening it right now. So, without further ado, guys, let's uh, hop out of here and press this switch. Now, before I do, though, I have to mention I did weld it. I hope that doesn't screw anything up, uh, as I'm not 100% sure what's in here. So, let's actually just have a quick look at this box. Uh, very nice. It looks like it's gift-wrapped here. And you see we got the uh, the moon with the rainbow in the back, which is beautiful, and here is Retro Specs' awesome logo. And uh, you can see it has a... like, the, the way he darkened it through the line here is actually such a nice touch of detail. Alright, let's crack this open and see what happens. Oh, jeez! Whoa! Oh, look at this! The way that just opened was awesome! You know what? Hold on here. Before I... like, look at that airplane. I wanna... I want to look at this. Wow, that is so cool. Oh man, let's uh, let's do that again. Oh, neato. Okay, so here it is. This looks like one heck of an airplane, and I gotta say, I love making airplanes in Scrap Mechanic. All right, so I can see it seems like this arrow is red. So usually red would mean delete. So I'm guessing I have to delete this. Uh, little kind of peg, which is probably what's keeping it all together as part of the creation. So, what I'll do is I'll break it right here. Ah, oh, perfect, so it just drops right down, and we'll get rid of this, uh, little peg here, and we'll leave that right there. Now look at this. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what this is right here. If I get, okay, this is the, uh, control station for the box itself, I see. And you can see here there is some really nice uh, runway lighting, actually, which is uh, pretty fancy. I've never gotten into that kind of lighting work with the uh, with the timers and the logic gates, and that's probably something I should look into eventually. So this plane, it seems like it has some embossed writing here, Moonbow, beautiful, spexy. This plane is awesome, and we got the rainbow propeller, the prop on the front, and look at the I love that. You can see it's like an engine in there. This thing is awesome. Now, I can see there's a seat. Now, before I get into the seat, and I'm gonna try and fly it. I'm gonna have a look here. So you can see, oh man, 10 buttons. That's my kind of plane. Uh, the, the back, uh, I guess that's, what is that, an aileron? That is uh, hooked up to the steering for some effect there. Oh, all right. I'm just gonna hop in and we'll bring up the, uh, the keypad system here. I... I'm not sure I have enough... Okay, look, I can actually... Wow, this thing... It, I think it has a bit of a suspension glitch in there. So, I have 10 buttons. Those are all... Or 8 buttons and 2 switches. So, 9 gets the propeller going. So, I'm guessing 8... 8 is like... Oh, okay, 8 is an entrance door. That's nice. Okay, 1 is not connected to anything. I'm gonna pop this off of this uh, gift box here, actually. Uh, and give myself a bit of a proper area to take off in here. So, we'll get back into the seat. Oh, this thing is fast! So, I'm, I think 1 and 2 aren't connected to anything. 3, 4... Okay, so... I think he maps things differently than me. Uh, which is absolutely fine, of course. So, 6 brings the nose up. 5 brings it down. And so the first four buttons aren't hooked up to anything. Alright, I'm gonna try this now. So, if I hold W... Oh, this thing is so fast! Oh no, the tree! Okay, wait, look at this! I need to turn the propeller on, how am I even flying? Okay. Oh man, this thing is cool. Let's try and uh, bank it. I'm not sure. I might be um, flipping out here. I'm slowly 
This is amazing. Look, I'm flying sideways right now. How is that even working? Specs, see, this thing is insane. Okay, wait. This... I'm trying to... I don't know... Okay, you know what? That's one way to... That's one way to flip it. I think this is, like, modeled after, like, a uh, stunt plane of some sort. But, man, it is fun to fly. Wow. You have no idea how easy it is to really fly. Like, you can see I can use the mouse at the same time. Oh, I can even hit the wall. I, I'm not sure how to roll these, though. Let me save this for a moment here. Okay. Oh, look at the way it's floating up. I'm guessing... Spexy, did you put something crazy in this thing? It is insane. You know, this is uh, something that I like to do is make planes in Scrap Mechanic, and one of my favorite things, of course, is trying other people's planes, especially when people send me, like, viewer creations that they want me to check out and possibly feature. Um, I, I'm gonna try with the both hands at the same time here now. Oh, man. I I can kind of get the hang of it. Okay, there. So I was definitely missing... Wow, I got up in the air really fast. I was definitely missing the, a couple of the switches, I wasn't, or the buttons. I wasn't pressing them. I guess I wasn't quite prepared for that. Oh, man! This thing is, like, so fast. It's surprisingly fast, because usually, like, you need quite a few thrusters. But I guess uh, if you look at the size of it and just how it flies. It probably doesn't need nearly as many as, say, like, something that I might end up making. So let's try, let's use the door here. Use the proper entrance and shut the door and steer our way into an opening right here. Now, if I remember, six is the nose up. So if I just bring that nose up and get over that tree. Okay, now we're, now we're back in business. There's definitely something in this plane that I, I don't know what it's doing, but it's working some magic, I gotta say. It is, uh... It's, I think it's making it easier to fly, because in my experience of flying planes in Scrap Mechanic, you can very easily lose control and basically, uh, kind of spin out. Uh, but this, it seems like it just wants to keep on going. Oh, man. This thing is a lot of fun. I hope, uh, I'm sure he must have a version for everybody to download and try this plane out as well because it is absolutely fantastic. And, uh, and as a plane maker and scrap mechanic, uh, this is just really well done. Wow, I just went right through that tree. Let's see if I can do some tricks here. Oh, yeah. Do a flat spin and then level up. Oh, that's not bad. You know what? What if... Would you guys like to see these raced, possibly? Um, I know... Oh, boy. I know uh, a lot of people have really wanted to see airplane challenges, uh, but I would say that racing these wouldn't be the worst thing ever either, actually. It's just... Uh, it's an easy-to-fly, easy-to-control plane uh, that has all sorts of cool features, and this one is fantastic. Probably because it was, it was designed for me. <laughs> So uh, that's pretty much it though guys, is this awesome gift from Retrospects, and the video was really just to thank him and congratulate him as well on his achievements on YouTube, so Spexy, congratulations! Thank you so much for making this gift, and I'm so happy to see everybody else's take on it as well. Uh, so I wish you all the best as well, and thanks everybody for watching. Uh, make sure you go check Spexy out, and uh, if you want to hit the like button and subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic, that'd be awesome. Uh, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon with one of my own airplanes. So bye for now.